Hi and welcome to 16-Bit Bench. Um, this is a video that's continuing a blog that I've been writing about building a super gun. So this is my super gun right here. Um, so a super gun is basically taking all of the switches that are inside a arcade cabinet and breaking them out into something that's a bit more portable. Um, so if you were to open up an arcade cabinet, what you traditionally see is a load of empty space. And in there, there'd be a, a screen, like typically a CRT, it's a big tube TV. Um, there'd be a load of buttons, and on those buttons would be some switches, and there'd probably be a coin mechanism and a bucket for putting the coins in, uh, the arcade board, and the power supply. So what you do with the super gun is you take all the switches and you put them in a container. In this case, I've picked this snazzy box that I got for about eight pounds. And inside the box is a is a power supply, and connecting the whole thing together is a jammer harness, which is a load of uh, wiring loom uh, with a jammer compatible connector on the end, which we have right here. And these are about eight or nine quid from China at the moment. Um, and if you were to buy a existing cabinet, this is probably one of the things that you would you, you would do. You would rewire it with a with a new wiring harness. Okay, and um, then what we have is uh, <coughs> all of the controls up, up here, so I can add coins just by pressing buttons instead of putting actual coins in. Um, player one to start. I've got a joystick for player one and just some buttons for player two. So the purpose of this super gun is not really for me to sit at home and play arcade games. What I'm actually looking to do is have a portable compact test testing rig um, just so that I can test some some jammer boards that I have and I can uh, just if I'm called out to go somewhere and fix a machine I can just connect up this this box and that eliminates the cabinet from, from any problems. So if you know the, the machine's not behaving properly, you can connect up this box, connect up some video, and this is uh, RGB and sync on, on a cable, so this will go into any standard TV. Um, and then I can make sure that um, the arcade, arcade board is working without having to leave it in the machine. It's, it makes it a lot easier. Okay, so, um, if we have a look inside my box again, um, you can see that what I've what I've got is a load of uh, switches. Um, these were just cheap, like twenty p switches from from uh, eBay. Uh, I just bought them because they come in uh, they come in six colours. So I've got uh, my Neo Geo colours there, and then black and white for those two. Um, followed the wiring diagram for the. For jammer, so you can find this online. Uh, just Google jammer um, pinout, and this will tell you uh, what what the color what the cable is, not what the colors are. So if you look at this, you can see the cable the cables are all different colors. Um, so you follow the jet. You can count down here. Unfortunately, it's written in Chinese on the cable, which is a bit of a hassle. But you have to count down the the pins, and you know then this pin is 14. And you look on here, and you go, ah, 14. That's uh, that's blue video, and that's pin 14 there. Or in this case, uh, 17 is play one star. 18 is up, down, left, right, and so on. So that's how I knew where to wire what where. Um, to be honest, the first time I did get it wrong, uh, I missed, I miscounted by one, so everything was wired offset by one. But uh, yeah, it took about five minutes to resolve that once I'd worked that out. Uh, then on the top here, I've got a little speaker. Uh, it's just a little eight ohm, uh, twelve watt speaker, and uh, that's just possibly on some boards there won't be an audio amplifier, so you'd have maybe want to put an amplifier in line here. Uh, but yeah, that's just been driven directly from this thing. Uh, this thing is a just Chinese uh, multi sort of board. It's about 120 in one. It doesn't have any particularly good games on it, but yeah, it's great for testing this is, and that's what I wanted. So uh, that's what we've got. Okay, so yeah, there's uh, about 138 games on here. Um, some of them are good, some of them aren't. Uh, Mario Brothers, let's give that a go. So there we are, put some credits in. So um, both credit buttons are hooked up. Credit one, 
puts one credit in, credit two on this game puts one credit in also. On some other games it may add multiple credits, like four or five credits. So that would be could be hooked up to two coin max in a box, so or two triggers on the coin max. So trigger one is like 50p, you get one credit. Trigger two is a pound and you get two credits or whatever. Or if you're in a, a token situation. Okay, so we're on. Left and right seem to work. Honestly, hate. I hate the original Mario Bros. It's a terrible game. As far as I'm concerned, you may like it. That's, you know, that's not really my problem. Ah, uh, see, like you want to jump on them because you're like, ah, oh, it's Mario. I should jump on things, but. See, die. Uh, let's press player to start. Okay. Double dragon. I don't know why they put that awful music on there, it's terrible. Dun dun dun. Double dragon. So, because the card does have an amplifier in it, I can adjust the volume up and down. But what you might want to do if you build one of these is have is have an kind of volume control. Let's put an entire month's worth of co of coins in there. Uh, two player start. Bit of uh, misogynist abuse there. It's good. So Billy and Jimmy, or Bimmy and Jimmy, depending on your cultural references. I have no idea which one's which. So you see, I can control player two with the buttons here. Now I could have installed a second joystick, but it would have added bulk to, to this. And to be honest, the point of this is not for me to sit here with a friend and play games, because as you can see, it, it wouldn't work. The point of this box for me is to test boards, just to make sure boards are working. So yeah, it seems that all the controls are working. You can tell the card's not really powerful enough to run this game, it kind of falls over. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up uh, just showing you around the test sort of super gun that I've built. Um, there are a couple of things I need to do to finish it off. Um, this exposed speaker on the top, not really ideal. Uh, so I'm thinking a nice little plastic grill or something over that just to cover it up. Um, also, uh, if you notice, I was cheating by using the VGA out from this device rather than the actual RGB, which is on here. Um, and the reason for that being is that this uh, the LCD is smaller uh, to put on the bench to show you guys. Um, you can't see it right now, but behind the camera is a great big Sony Trinitron. That's what I'd actually want to be using. Um, so the next step is to kind of take these wires and create either a, I think a scar, maybe wire it to a scar, put a scar on here, or I'm thinking a breakout box with some BNC, um, sorry, RCA connectors. Uh, that will allow me just to plug uh, direct into there. Also probably want to take the audio from the speaker and run it out with these wires and then I have a switch so I can switch between the speaker or output into the device or even both. Um, yeah, so I think those are the, the main things just to finish it off. It, to me it looks pretty good. This box was just some cheap thing that I found in, a, in one of those shops that just sells random crap. Um, uh, I think it's, it's good for this purpose, but if you were to build one of these from home, you probably want something a bit more ergonomic. This, you know, really wouldn't want to play long term on here. Got, got quite a not sharp edge, but you know, an, a, a, a sharp, an edge there. 
Um, but yeah, so this is what we do, 16-bit bench. We build things for gaming. Uh, we fix consoles. Uh, this room that you can see a tiny bit of is full of broken consoles and games and stuff that we're fixing and putting on eBay. Um, if you are looking to get something like this made, we would be happy to provide a quote. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of arcade parts here, some spare joysticks, um, the wiring harnesses and all the bits that are required to build these things. So please um, check us out on Facebook, 16-bit bench, that's 16-bit bench. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe and like it. And uh, give me a, something in the comments, tell me how badly I messed up or how you do something else you do this differently uh, that would be great so yeah thanks a lot guys thanks for watching my video and uh, I'll see you next time